Welcome everyone. In this video, I will create a MSSQL database and connect with the my Medix application. At first, this is the empty application, and within the settings and configuration tab, we see the configuration is default as the built-in database. What will I do is I, I will create an MSSQL database. Then I will bind this configuration with the MSSQL and server as a database and I will put the new configuration as an active one. At first I need to create the uh, new database. To do this we open the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and under the database tab you will see the available database. To create new one just right click and say the new database and give a database name. I just give an Mendix DB as a database name. And this is now for the empty database. And there's no table here, you see. And we need to create actually credentials to log in this database. And I will use these credentials in Mendix Studio Pro. And right click to logins and create a new login. As a login name, I will put an MX admin as a login name, and I need to choose as a login name as SQL Server Authentication and as a password and confirm password. I'm using the same MX admin, MX admin, and MX admin. I will clear all of the ticks, and don't forget to change the default database as an and Mendix DB, and you need to go to the user mapping area and you find the Mendix DB and click this one and put this as a DB owner here. And you can say as an OK. Yeah, so our credentials and database tables is created. So we're done with this SQL Server Management Studio. Then I am switching back to the Studio Pro and go to the settings create new configuration, give a proper name, MSSQL, and I will choose as database with the Microsoft SQL Server, and the URL is localhost, and the default, uh, and there's a umlaut here, two dots here, don't forget this one, and the local uh, host default port is 1433. Three. And this is the URL and DB name is just created in the DB and username is MX admin and MX admin. You can show the password, put the integrity security as no and say OK. After you say OK, you the, the latest configuration is active. You, you need to actually choose one of the configuration as an active in each time. If I say yes, and I need to rerun the application to make my changing is suitable. And after rerun my application, I will see a pop-up page to create the to create the tables. I will see the scripts pop up. Yes, this one the actually script pop up. If I say the synchronized database. My application will run. Yes, this is the empty application. And if I look to the actually database site and just refresh, I will see my tables is here. So these are the system tables. So congrats, we successfully implement our application, main this application with the Microsoft SQL Server Management MSS Cloud. Thank you. I hope you enjoy and see you.